This is the Powerbar Lite. It's the first product to launch on the Evalvo.tech store. But we also have to understand what the Powerboard Lite is. Thank you to JLCPCB for sponsoring this video and providing the first 50 boards. With this, the starting price has also been cut from $11 to $9. Now we have all the boards to start shipping, but we have to make sure all of the boards work before we can send them out to customers. We're going to make a machine to basically test and validate our boards before the customers receive them. The plan is simple. The Powerboard Lite is a lithium-ion battery charger similar to the TP4056 board. Only it's also able to read battery percentage and charge status and send this to the microcontroller via four pins. Two I2C pins, SDA and SCL, and two normal high or low pins. So what we need is a microcontroller. In our case, it's going to be a cheap RP2040 board I found on AliExpress. Now we need to connect our Powerboard Lite to the microcontroller. And we can't solder because it's not supposed to be permanent. So I designed this board to act as an adapter. You would think that making this adapter board would be straightforward. It actually turned out to be a little bit more tricky than I initially thought. You see, when I designed the board, I had to shrink down the pogo pin pads so that they wouldn't overlap. In turn, leaving not a lot of room extra beyond the pogo pin for the solder to grip the board. But after a lot of rounds on the hot plate and a lot of tweaking, it did eventually work out. We are going to be using this AC to DC adapter. It's got 5 volt 3 amps, so it should have more than enough juice to power the entire machine. And to get this power into our machine, we're going to be using this DC plug that can easily be implemented into our enclosure. Now that we have power and the base components of the machine in place, we're gonna need a way to display information like battery percentage and charge status to the user. So for that, we're gonna need to use a display. And again, I turn to AliExpress to find a cheap 0.96 inch OLED display. These are great for projects like this because they are super easy to set up. Then we just add a USB-C cable for powering the Powerboard Lite in the charging test process. Also a blue LED for checking that the Powerboard Lite gives out an output voltage. And two switches, one to turn on the entire machine and another to turn on the charging process. Now I've finished all of the electrical parts. The Powerboard Lite is fastened into the adapter board like this. And we can switch on this to see it begins reading the battery percentage of the battery. And if we switch on this other switch, it will start the charging process and it says charging. So this shows that this board is functioning as expected. We also have the 3D print and enclosure. Firstly, we need the main enclosure. This will just house the electronics. On top of this, we are going to need a lid. This will also attach the adapter board, the screen, the switches and the LED. On top of that, we need this attachment, which is going to help a lot in pressing down the powerboard light onto the pogo pins. Now I just have to make the rest of the casing. I also made this reinforced cable for the battery just as a reassurance. 
Now, whenever someone orders a power board light from the website, I can easily take that board, plug it into the USB-C cable and place it into the machine. Then add the press block and the pin to hold it all together. Before we can turn it on, we have to place the battery onto the battery pins. Then if the blue LED lights up, it means that the power bar light gives out an output voltage. We can turn the machine on and see that the battery percentage is displayed as expected. Then we can switch on the other switch and start the charging process. And the two LEDs on the power board light will light up. Now we know that this board is functioning as expected and is ready to be shipped to the customer. If you want to purchase the power board light, you can pick it up at the velvo.tech website. And again, thank you to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. It's the best platform if you want to bring your ideas to life.